wanted to give you a little history lesson of this boat. Uh, bought it one year ago almost. Uh, it took a couple weeks to come because there had an issue with swapping out the motor. Had initially a Suzuki on it, and they switched it over to uh, a Mercury. Was ended up being a mess because it didn't properly get installed. First time I got it, uh, got stuck on the lake, had to get towed in. Had a boat full of friends, you know, excited for a new boat. Uh, motor was too low, so it would come, it was leaking power steering fluid. It would run. Every time I started, I saw something in the water. I didn't know if it was just a film being a new boat, um, but it was not. It slowly lost all the power steering fluid, had to get towed in. Kind of embarrassing on a boat that had, I don't know, about six hours on at the time. Um, when they installed it, this was done in, incorrectly. Oh, I took the hood off the motor. There's a cable or a chain in there for where they put the motor on, so that was done incorrectly. Um, after that, there was a list of problems that was wrong with the boat, and I sent it back to the main one, uh, being the motor was too low. They nice enough came, put it back. On my list of problems was uh, a bunch of different things that were supposed to be on this boat that never were. Um, one of them was this, the table was supposed to be installed. They finally did that the second time they took it back. Uh, the seat was coming off the, I have all pictures of all this, I have a huge list. The seat was supposed to come off. That, uh, that did not get fixed. I ended up doing that myself. On the list too was uh, the tower. The tower, you couldn't get it tight enough. And I did end up doing some research, got a hold of uh, Monster Tower. I didn't get this cable. So I just had the, so I the cable, I didn't get this nut. They were nice enough to end up sending it to me, so I uh, got it done myself. But, but uh, factory said this is how it comes when I sent it to uh, Boat and RV. Wasn't done right. Uh, they were nice enough too to send me a sticker because when you guys put the uh, Bimini tower, you left it up and the little hook was hitting the whole thing. One issue was it never came with the TV. So what I ended up getting is I had, I had to put this bracket up because everyone's kept in their heads. I got a bracket and a TV. Got zero uh, cords. Nothing to hook it up to, Couldn't, can't do it. It's kind of a TV and still. That was uh, number one, so that's what they sent me. and said, hey, tough luck, that's all on your own. Uh, I sent it back also for, uh, it said this was falling off. So you know, it's, so they pushed it back, lobbed some silicone on it, must've called that a day. Um, the major issues I was having too was when they sold the boat, I have my smart craft gauges and I have no fuel gauge, no trim gauge. These are basically just sitting here dead. They don't do anything. I was told, oh, you can't get them working anyway, which uh, seems like you can, So, but they just took it back and sent it back and told me no. Uh, after I got the boat back the second time, I sent it back immediately because there was other problems that were new, that were still wrong, that weren't done. Uh, so you guys are actually getting it back for the third time. Uh, and the, when I got it back the first time, this was all bent. Um, and they replaced it, put a new one on. That was one of the few things they actually fixed. After I got it back for the other time, there was actually other issues. Uh, the door there was uh, broken. They ended up replacing that too. The uh, LED strips were coming off, uh, still kind of coming off. One of them died. They replaced them both with new ones. Since then, they've already broke again. So I don't know if there's something to do with how they did it, but I get one in a little section, so it looks pretty stupid having them on. Uh, I asked them too, because after I got it back, after you guys had it for the winter, I said, why is my trailer all rusting? Um, you would think a 2016 trailer would uh that has not seen winter would not be rusting it's rusting all over the whole insides are rusting the back is rusting here i don't know if it's a bad paint job or something happened um called them up they said nope no warranty on the trailer looked it up you guys actually manufacture the trailer company so that was a little surprising um multiple other issues that they wouldn't fix for me that they told me uh one is this ladder um, they said it's the ladder comes with a boat. You can't do it. If I want to find one on my own, I can. This is from your head service department. Uh, this ladder will, the water comes, hits here, sprays everybody on the back of the boat. Um, it's a terrible design. I, I know some of the other boats have a different 
uh, telescoping ladder instead. Uh, something was wrong there with it. Uh, so that's still wrong. Um, the major thing though is I had my niece, nephew, a bunch of kids up on the boat. We went out, started filling up the water. It got almost to the end of the deck here before I ended up realizing something was going on. We're on the other side of the lake. Luckily, I do live on the lake and luckily I have a lift because we got home full speed having granny three kids on this boat uh, max speed was eight miles an hour and was straight up and down uh, I did get it on the lift right away pumped out for two hours straight um, here's the issue underneath the boat it's kind of dark out so I'm hoping you can see but obviously I have pictures and all this stuff uh, fiberglass is all delaminated it's about a three foot by two foot section uh, I got some other videos of this or pictures. I'll, I'll post the pictures so you have them too. Uh, I took it to three experts. Um, two of them, that's all they do is fiberglass. And they said it's not laid correctly. The fiberglass doesn't have resin. Uh, it's so thin that they surprised it even lasts as long as it did. And it's on the most critical part of the boat. And they ruled it as completely total, needing a new uh, hull, probably a whole brand new boat on it. So that's been my experience. I'm sure I'm even forgetting other stuff that's not right on this thing to start. It's just been a terrible experience. This is third time you guys are taking it back, um, which is pretty garbage for a boat that's brand new. So hopefully you guys can do the right thing here. Fix this, make sure it's good, and get me figure out what you're gonna do to make me happy. So right now, I'm pretty pissed. I'm just lucky that everyone ends up safe and. I didn't end up with a uh, brand new 2016 boat on the bottom of a lake.